everybody, Yvonne from the Somerset County Library System again, and just wanted to tell you today is a very special day. Today is Sean and Ed's ninth birthday. Yay! So I wanted to come up with some ideas of how you can do inexpensive parties at home with stuff you already have. And uh, Sean apparently is going to help me. Ed, you coming? Ed, there's cool things in here. For a party, sorry about that, Sean, is party decorations. Really simple. I cut out some of the catalogs that I've been getting and I made paper chains out of them. If you have little kids, don't use staples. If you have pets, I think these are going to be good toys later on. So don't use staples, use tape. So another thing you need for a party is your paper supplies. And I don't know about you, but I've got tons of stuff left over from like past holidays. So have a St. Patrick's Day, Luau, car birthday, pretty, pretty princess, Merry Christmas. Um, also, you can make cupcakes. I keep buying Halloween cupcake things with every intention, every Halloween that I'm going to use them. I like cupcakes. Or, you know, whatever you have over. Another thing is, let's see, presents. Go through all those things that you have left over from when you were a kid that you still have for some reason and have never gotten rid of. For me, my little happy apple from when I was a kid. Totally lost the birthday boy. Or you can eat on your fine china. And we all have those dresses or those shoes that we bought that we've never, ever worn. Why not? Have a dress-up party. Have a silly hat party. We all have hats lying around that we never wear, like real pit helmets. Why not? that lovely champagne that you were saving for a special occasion. You're in quarantine during a pandemic. It doesn't get much more special than that. Open it up. One thing you can do for the special person whose birthday it is, let them pick the game. Let them pick the puzzle. Let them pick movie night for a week. And then, of course, you've always got food. Food is always a big thing, especially if you have chicken and waffle treats. Sean's very, very into the lobster and mac and cheese right now. And then if you have really young children or pets, just take their regular toys and uh, put them in a box. And their cats, and what do cats love more in this world than... So there you go. That's how you can have a party in a box. Just use the stuff that you have laying around and make it a quarantine party you will never forget. Have a good weekend, everyone. And uh, happy birthday, Sean and Ed.